Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Eighth Wonder of the World In 1941, Hitler's troops ransacked an entire room made from solid jewels. It was called the Amber Room, and it was a gift from Prussia's Friedrich Wilhelm to Russia's Peter the Great in 1716. This was no ordinary treasure. It was an entire chamber decorated in amber panels, backed with gold leaf and filled with shining mirrors and jewels. It was so grand that historians have called it the eighth wonder of the world. The Amber Room was installed at the Catherine Palace near St. Petersburg. But during World War II, Nazi soldiers allegedly packed up every piece of treasure from the room and stored them in 27 crates. Those crates were then sealed and shipped to an unknown location. But mysteriously, those crates never arrived, and not a single piece of the Amber Room has been seen since. Some say it was robbed as part of a great heist, while others say the crates were put on a ship that sank and are currently at the bottom of the sea. But if you ask Karl Heinz Klein, he'll tell you it's hidden in an underground bunker that's only accessible by a secret passageway. Karl Heinz and his fellow treasure hunters have been searching for the lost Amber Room for years. They currently have their eyes on an abandoned munitions factory near the town of Wuppertal in Germany. They believe the treasure was transported to the munitions factory using an underground train, but the passages and tracks have since been sealed and are now forgotten. The treasure hasn't been found yet, but the team is hoping to get their hands on it soon. Number 9. Sunken Nazi Warships In 2022, a severe summer drought in Europe uncovered a ton of lost treasures. In Serbia, over a dozen German ships from World War II were found at the bottom of the Danube River, the second longest river in all of Europe. It was once a powerful waterway that could be traversed by warships and merchant vessels. But as meteorologists warned the continent of the worst drought in decades, the water receded and the lost ships were revealed from their murky graveyards. But as the continent suffered from the worst drought in decades, the water receded and the lost ships were revealed from their murky graveyards. Local officials say the German ships were part of the Nazis' Black Sea Fleet. They were allegedly sunk on purpose in 1944 in order to prevent the Russian troops from taking them as they advanced on the Eastern Front. But it's not the ships themselves that are the main part of this story. It's the 10,000 unexploded explosives on board, which Serbian authorities say will cost them over $30 million to remove from the river. Unfortunately, the authorities are also fairly sure that more ships from World War II will be revealed as the water continues to vanish. With the discovery of more ships will come even more unexploded bombs. Most people don't realize that the main waterways of Europe are ship graveyards with enough unexploded ordnance to support a small army. Number 8. Bombers in the Sea Scientists with the University of Delaware recently found five lost Liberator bombers from World War II with help from the U.S. military. The bombers were uncovered at the bottom of the Adriatic Sea. Historical records show that the bombers got lost while returning from a mission, and they crashed into the ocean. Neither the planes nor their crew were ever seen again. We don't know all the details of the story, but we can put the clues together to paint a clear picture. We know the five B-24 bombers left Italy and were on their way to Croatia, but they crashed before they arrived. They likely received battle damage while fighting in Italy, which could have led to their unfortunate demise, leaving 23 airmen MIA for the next 80 years. The researchers and the U.S. Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency recently embarked on a mission to find those bombers once and for all. They scanned the bottom of the ocean using autonomous underwater vehicles, and amazingly, they found them! Three planes were positively identified based on service records, so it's safe to assume the other two were part of their squadron. The B-24 Liberator was a deadly machine during the war, with four engines and a top speed of 297 miles per hour. These things could carry 5,000 pounds of bombs on long-range missions. Number 7. The HMS Urge Divers have finally confirmed the identity of a mysterious wreck near the coast of Malta. The wreckage is that of a British submarine that was destroyed by a German mine in 1942. 
A team of marine archaeologists from the University of Malta made a series of dives to the wreckage in April of 2022. They were able to confirm the wreckage as the HMS Urge, since the name was embossed on the ship's conning tower. The wreckage sits roughly six miles from the shores of Malta, in an area that was littered with mines during World War II. Up until this discovery, the fate of the HMS Urge was a huge mystery. The submarine was skippered by Lieutenant Commander Edward Tompkinson, a man who helped cripple the Italian battleship Vittorio Veneto and destroy the Italian cruiser Pandenere. The urge was ordered away from the British naval port at Malta to escape a relentless bombardment by German and Italian forces. The submarine was supposed to arrive in Alexandria, Egypt, but it never showed up, and all 32 crew members were reported MIA. It was clear the vessel was destroyed, but nobody knew how. And here's where things get really weird. Belgian diver Jean-Pierre Misson allegedly discovered a wrecked ship off the coast of Libya in 2015. He claimed the ship he found was the HMS Urge and that it was destroyed by Italian warplanes. The vessel, according to the Belgian diver, was on a secret mission and wasn't going to Alexandria. Even after the real Urge wreckage was found in 2019, Maritime archaeologist Timmy Gambin continued to claim that the ship off the coast of Libya was the real deal. He seems to believe the discovery of the HMS Urge is a conspiracy to cover up a secret World War II mission gone awry. While that's an interesting story, there's absolutely no proof of it. The HMS Urge has been officially identified by real marine archaeologists working with a prestigious university. We know it was destroyed by mines, not by an Italian warplane during a covert operation. The divers even found the blast hole punched into the side of the ship's hull, where the urge hit the mine. Number 6. Tons of Nazi Gold A group of World War II treasure hunters called the Silesian Bridge Foundation believe they have made the discovery of a lifetime at an abandoned palace in southern Poland. In 2022, they supposedly found several tons of hidden Nazi gold. They say it's hiding in a buried canister that they located using geo-radar. They first learned of the canister thanks to an old diary from a Nazi SS member. The palace where the giant metal canister was uncovered was used by SS officers as a brothel during the war. According to an entry from the diary, the gold was stolen by SS Nazi leader Heinrich Himmler in the final months of the war. It was Heinrich's idea to establish the Fourth Reich after the fall of the Third Reich, and he needed all the gold he could muster to do it. The gold was then stashed in the canister and hidden by an SS officer named von Sein. The diary led the researchers straight to the palace, and GeoRadar revealed the metal canister. They could see in scans that the earth had clearly been moved in an effort to bury something. They've already found the canister, but the team was only given permission by the government to dig the canister out of the ground in late 2022. When the next excavation season starts in 2023, we'll finally learn if there really are four tons of Nazi gold in the canister, or if it's just a dirty old septic tank. What do you think? Let me know your guess in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 5. Creepy German Bunker For the first time in decades, a previously sealed German bunker from World War II has been excavated. The bunker was one of the hundreds of structures built using slave labor during the Nazi occupation of the Channel Islands. It's located in Guernsey and is almost invisible because it's embedded in the side of a grassy knoll. Following the war, many of these secret bunkers were ignored, and nature slowly took over and disguised them. A group of local historians unsealed the bunker in late 2022. They discovered a long tunnel leading deep underground where they found the remains of a fixed gun emplacement, as well as some gas pipes. There were also disused phone cables and old German words stenciled onto the concrete walls. However, the bunker was found filled with rubble and soil, showing just how quickly it was destroyed by nature. As for the occupation of the Channel Islands, they were the only part of Britain that the Nazis managed to capture. This was a big deal for Hitler since he never made it to the mainland, and so he built hundreds of fortifications to keep the islands secure. 
There are over 900 structures from World War II in Guernsey alone. Number 4. The Vengeance 2 Rocket the remains of a V-2 rocket that was launched by Nazi Germany at the city of London were found in a field in October of 2021. The deadly rocket fell out of the sky before it could hit its target. Then it exploded in the field and over time the debris was covered by the soil. Believe it or not, it's the sixth major excavation of an exploded V-2 rocket carried out by Colin and Sean Welch. These brothers are conflict archaeologists. They have spent over a decade investigating the sites of Nazi vengeance weapons that were launched at the British capital. They've also excavated multiple impact sites where V-1 flying bombs detonated. The V-1 flying bomb was the precursor to the first supersonic rockets ever used. Nazis on the shores of France launched V-1 flying bombs using primitive catapults before scientists finally created the V-2 rocket. Soldiers went from using medieval siege weapons to guided missiles almost overnight. The most recent V-2 excavation was near the small village of Platt. Colin and Sean recovered almost 2,000 pounds of metal debris, including the rocket's combustion chamber. It's believed the rocket hit the field at about midnight on February 14, 1945. Oddly enough, the farmland is now an orchard a small slice of paradise that grew from a devastating bomb blast. The impact was far enough from the original farmhouse that nobody was seriously injured, although one woman did allegedly have her hearing damaged by the sound of the explosion. Number 3. The Bomb in the River The drought in Europe has revealed lost Nazi ships and unexploded bombs in Serbia. But something similar was found in an Italian river in August of 2022. A fisherman came across a 1,000-pound bomb on the banks of the River Po, which reached its lowest level in 70 years. Low rain and hot weather dried up the river, just like the Danube, and now fishermen are finding bombs on the riverbanks. This particular bomb was found unexploded, meaning it could have gone off under the right circumstances. It was discovered near the small village of Borgo Virgilio, and according to Italian military officials, it had 530 pounds of explosives inside of it. Military personnel had to evacuate 3,000 residents so that bomb disposal experts could detonate the explosive without hurting anyone. Number 2. The HMS Regent A mystery from World War II has just been solved. Divers claimed in November of 2022 that they discovered the wreckage of the HMS Regent. It's widely believed that the ship struck a mine on April 18, 1943, before it vanished for almost 80 years. The divers made the discovery off the coast of Italy. Historical accounts claim the ship was attacked by an Italian convoy and was subsequently sunk. In the weeks that followed, four bodies washed ashore only to be buried without anyone ever finding out their identities. The divers who made this discovery were working with the Italian Naval League. The team was led by marine explorer Fabio Bisciotti, who says the wreckage is sitting 246 feet below the surface and is situated completely upside down. The vessel is in such a horrible position that the divers couldn't even recognize it at first. However, once they got their bearings, they were able to do some investigating. The steel the ship was made of, as well as the shape of the stern and the bow, all point to a British design. It definitely appears to be a sunken British submarine, but there was no way to 100% verify it as the HMS Regent. It matches the description and it's in the right spot, but until divers go back and find serial numbers or some other irrefutable proof of its identity, we won't know for sure. Number 1. Missing Since Pearl Harbor the remains of a sailor who was declared missing in action on December 7, 1941, have finally been identified. The sailor, petty officer, second class Claude Ralph Garcia, died at 25 years old while serving as a ship fitter on the USS West Virginia. He was on duty when the Japanese forces surprise attacked Pearl Harbor. He was born on April 27, 1916, in California and graduated high school in 1933. Garcia briefly attended community college, then boldly enlisted in the Navy. 
In 1943, local news reports claimed that Garcia was the first presumed casualty in the war from Ventura High School, and his memorial service drew over 300 people. Although Garcia was believed to be dead, his remains were never officially identified. He was one of the nameless bodies buried at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific, nicknamed the Punchbowl Cemetery. Out of the 106 crew members who died on the USS West Virginia, Garcia was one of 25 that remained unidentified until just recently, in August of 2022. He was only identified because his casket was exhumed and his body was sent to a laboratory. There, scientists used mitochondrial DNA and dental analysis to confirm his name. The Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency is working hard to give names to the unidentified service members who made the ultimate sacrifice, and every one is a small victory. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing history. See you next time. Bye.